Dropping giant ice cubes in the ocean won't fix global warming, but maybe a giant umbrella would. See, there's a special place between the Sun and the Earth called the L1 point. Roughly speaking, at L1, the gravitational pull from the Earth and the Sun cancel out, meaning that as the Earth orbits the Sun, any object at the L1 point stays between the Earth and the Sun. And that's handy, maybe we could put a shade there. The question is, how big does that shade need to be? To figure this out, we need to know two pieces of information. First, we need to figure out how far away L1 is from the Earth. Second, we need to know how much of the Sun needs to be blocked to stop global warming. From these figures, we can figure out roughly how big a shade would need to be in order to save us from ourselves. First, the Earth-Sun L1 point is about 1% of the distance from the Earth to the Sun, or around 1.5 million kilometers. It's pretty far, about four times further away than the Moon. Second, according to Wikipedia, the Earth has an energy imbalance of around 1.12 watts per square meter. About 1,360 watts per square meter of sunlight gets absorbed by the Earth. So if we want to stop global warming, we need to reduce it by about 0.1%. That shouldn't be too hard, right? No. If we want to block 0.1% of the incoming light from the sun, our umbrella should cast a shadow with a radius of about 32 times smaller than the Earth's radius, because 32 squared is about 1,000. So the goal of our umbrella will be to cast a circular shadow on the Earth with a radius of about 200 kilometers. To put that in perspective, during an eclipse, the shadow cast has a radius of around 75 kilometers. So if our umbrella is four times further away from the Earth than the Moon is, and we need a shadow that is more than twice as large, you can imagine our umbrella has to be very big indeed. So how big does this umbrella actually have to be? I'll spare you the details, it would have to be about the size of the Earth itself. Now, I've made some simplifying assumptions in this calculation, for example, I've ignored the penumbra, which would help us a little bit, but regardless of how exact we are with our math, I'm not sure this is the solution to our climate change problem.